But the rest of these cats, these clowns rather, they tell you that you don't have to keep the law. The Lord shed his blood so we don't have to keep the law. How ridiculous does that sound? That the Lord died so we don't have to keep the law. When the Lord told you he come in the volume of the book. The book is written of him, so why would he die to keep us away from him? He died to bring us close to him. The elect that is. Yeah. I was saying that. That's crazy, like you're saying. He died for your sins, but yet you're gonna turn around and keep doing more sin on top of that. Right, right, yeah, right. you still want to sin. Uh -huh. yeah. Now what did the what, what did the Lord tell the woman caught in adultery? He forgave of her sins, but he told well basically he say I don't he, he he asked her what was after he was writing in the sand and all her accusers fled away. He asked the woman, where, where are thine accusers? And she said they left. And the Lord said, well, neither do I accuse you. Go your way and sin no more. So it's basically the same for us, man. Well, we got to be about this work. And, and sin, like, like uh, it says in uh, the Apocrypha, we, we must offend less. Because there's no way you're not going to do, you can live perfect. But you must offend less. You must. All right. It's Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Right. right. This is the Lord speaking. He said, think not that he come to destroy the law or the prophets. He didn't come to do away with that, man. When you go into the Beatitudes, what was the Lord doing? He was basically per perfecting the law, man. Basically, well, you know, where it seemed like the Lord was contradicting the law, he wasn't contradicting. Right. He was telling you to go above and beyond what right. was written in the law. So go back to that, brother. This Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Right, so this system, man, this, this Babylonian system that you two-third niggas didn't become accustomed to, it is, it's, it's, uh, this system is defiling. That's why, you know, we read Micah 2 and 10 so much. This place is polluted and it would destroy you with a sword destruction. So right, man, this place, man, this place is just keeping y'all on a level of, basically making you niggas into even bigger demons than you already are. So yeah, that was it, bro? That was it on that. Go back to De Deuteronomy. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's Deuteronomy, 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the law, Salakim. No, I'll go back to two. <coughs> okay. yeah. Salakim. Deuteronomy, 28 and 2. And all these things, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. So yeah, okay, we could jump to the curses, man. But you see, man, none of this applies to, to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, man. Y'all cursed in all things, man. Everything you put your you, you put your mind to doing, it comes to naught. Because we didn't keep the law. We went out. As a nation, as a nation of people, you know, the Lord punished us all, man, as one nation. That's just like the way you heathens gonna get it, man. And that's just. That's just. And y'all understand the judgment of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. When he come back to destroy, he sent his only begotten son back to destroy America, that's just. 
Look at the wickedness of this place, man. You can openly worship Satan, but you can't, you know, it's going to come a time, man, we ain't going to be on these streets. They want to put us to death. They don't even want you to worship white Jesus. Yep. Much less Yahweh Shai. But through the power and the grace of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we out here giving you this gospel anyway, man. And this gospel is, is a mystery. It ain't for all people. It is what we're going into. It's only for an elect group of people. So with that 15 verse say, brother? Just Deuteronomy 28 and 15. That's but right. it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all the curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Right, so the scripture says all these curses will come upon us and overtake us instead of the blessing. We'll be cursed in the city, cursed in the field, man. And you see that, Jake is cursed everywhere, man. In the inner city, the suburbs, out in the country. Jake catching them curses. And they don't know why. It's a simple thing, man. Read Deuteronomy 28 chapter. That's that's one of the plainest chapters, you know. Is it you know it requires a little breaking down, but for the most part, it's, 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 it says what it means. That this is a cursed people, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for not keeping the law of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. America's gonna be destroyed soon. They got a game to watch, huh? Yeah, it's, it's over now. They finna oh, go okay, get oh, drunk. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's go hey, brother. Uh, that's the point on that. Let's go to uh, go to go to Hosea one and nine. Well, hey, start at eight. Yeah, I mean we're in the midst of uh, we're in the midst of Babylon, man. This is the land of folly. They still want to go to their ball games, still want to have their fun, kick it, you know, and this is the time to be getting serious, man. I mean, that goes to show. You think the Lord really going to come back to save a, 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 a bubble-headed, you know, zombie? Because the majority of these people are zombies. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to keep it, <laughs> keep it PG today, man, but, you know, how is Shane coming to save these simple people, man? He coming back to save those that basically that are in the faith, the elect, that are in the faith doing what he he told them to do. As as you know, being the elect, we have a job to do. There's work to be done, man. The harvest is plenty, man, but the laborers are few. You think these people care about the harvest, man? The harvest is the elect. Well, the, at the end of the world, the, the, the uh, elect being gathered together. Come. Just like any other harvest, when you harvest right. wheat. Right. Or your... your uh, yeah. Not good, really. brother. No, I was going to say your, uh, your vintage come in. Right. What you was going to say? No, I say, yeah, come on. That harvest represent, it really represent our all of Jake. Because the elect got to get sifted from the... From, uh, from from uh, Jake, from the uh, two thirds, you know. So it That's represents right. Jake scattered across the uh, across the globe, <clears throat> the four corners of the earth, you know. The harvest, because it's the scriptures tell you that Israel is at the sand of the sea. I mean, it's, it's many Israelites out, and it only uh, and then the Most High only uh, gonna seal it and elect, you know, in the one and then the one third. Alright, go ahead, brother. Uh, get that All right. Hey, cause they the most high pulled us, <clears throat> you know, away from two third niggas. Right. You know, and uh all the different brothers that the most high woke up, he pulled you out of that, out of that, out of that heart. 
by way of the uh, labor, you know?